Hi, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd do a video of my three-year-old's favorite toys. Um, if you're looking for gift ideas or inspiration, these are the top 10 toys that he's played with consistently throughout the year. They're not specifically for boys or girls, they're gender neutral, so um, they'll suit any three-year-old. So here is the top 10. First up is the storybook, The Little Boy Who Lost His Name. So this is a great book because it's personalized for every different child. So you go online to buy this and you put in your child's name and it comes with a story for them. So they've lost their name and they have to find the letters to their name and put it together. So for my child, his name is Wolf, so he has to find a W-O-L-F-E. So he goes on this adventure and gets letters along the way from different characters. And then at the end, he realizes that these letters spell out his name. They spell out Wolf. There we go. So it's a great way for them to learn the letters of their name and how to spell their name. You can get it in the little girl who lost her name as well, of course. You can also choose the character. You can choose um, their skin tone and their hair color. So they really feel like it's them in, in this adventure. Absolutely love this book. I need to get one for my daughter now as well, now that I think about it. <laughs> Next up is Duplo. Duplo is the larger version of Lego. You know, for three-year-olds, the little Lego pieces are a little bit advanced for them and also a choking hazard. So Duplo is the bigger bricks. It really helps them with their fine motor skills. And similar to Lego, Duplo can come in loads of different sets. So you can get, you know, a train Duplo set or a farm Duplo set or pony stables or whatever. There's loads of different things you can get with Duplo. My kids absolutely love Duplo. They can spend hours with it. It was a great way for them to learn, you know, how to put things together, get creative and use their imagination with what they're building. So Duplo, we're a big fan of Duplo in this house. Next up we have a scooter. I love scooters. I think scooters are a great idea for a three-year-old because it gets them outside in the fresh air, gets them exercising. And at three, if you want to go on a walk, they're kind of too big to get in the buggy, but they're too small to go on a big walk. So scooters are a great way to just get the whole family outside in a fun way. I also like it because it develops their motor skills and helps them learn balance and coordination. I went for the mini micro scooter and the reason I went for this brand is because I thought it was a little bit more advanced than some of the more basic options out there. This one you can lean to turn and tilt with it and it's got a brake here that you can use um, at the back of the scooter, although my son still doesn't. He still uses his foot on the road and destroys his shoes, but he's learning, he's learning to use this one. We really like the micro scooters. Figures are a great gift for a three-year-old, whether it's an action figure like Spider-Man or a doll figure like Elsa. It really encourages them to use their imagination. At three years old, they can start getting really creative and making up stories and having these to act out their stories can be so much fun. It also really encourages their language and communication as they make their figures interact with each other. When he first started Montessori, I was getting no information out of him. I was asking him every day, what are you doing? And who are you friends with? And he was giving me nothing. And then one day we were playing with his little figures and I kind of said, let's play school. And he said, okay. And he brought me through everything that happens in school through an entire day. This was the most information I'd ever gotten out of him. So it's a great way. If you want to ask your child something, do it through dolls. It's a really, that's a good tip. <laughs> Next up, we have a big one, Play Kitchen. They love helping me in the kitchen and I'll kind of talk them through what I'm cooking and how I'm doing it and then they'll go and recreate it in their own little kitchen. You can buy all of this fake food for the kitchen, so it's also a great way to teaching them all about the different foods, what they're called, what they're good for, what goes with what. So that's great. And also there's so many accessories that you can get for kitchens. You can get an espresso machine, or you can get a pizza maker, or a blender. The list is endless. So this one is great. It has a little clock. I mean, he's a bit young to learn about time, but I'm teaching him the basics and he's kind of getting a little bit of it. The reason I got this one is because it's wooden and I prefer wooden toys um, over plastic toys most of the time. Um, I just feel like there's less wear and tear with wood, it will last longer and I just think it looks nicer as well. Three year olds love play kitchens. Anytime his friends come in the house this is the first thing they go to. So play kitchens are a big thumbs up for me. Next up is Bubbles. 
so simple so basic but kids love bubbles anyone that gives my kid bubbles is their best friend for life they can spend so long chasing around bubbles and bursting them and catching them and at three years old they're kind of ready to start doing it themselves this is a great one because you can just kind of do it back and forth and get loads of different bubbles and um, if, ah, if they're not that good at blowing yet um, I think three-year-olds kind of do a lot of spitting instead of blowing. Bubbles are always so much fun. Next up is this talking teddy bear. It repeats what you say, and I'm not gonna lie, the adults have just as much fun with this as the kids do. So you turn it on and anything you say, it repeats. So, hello? <coughs> How are you today? I love my talking bear. I love my talking bear. But it's so funny, my kids were playing with this this morning and they were just doing like crazy noises and singing songs and they were absolutely in hysterics at the bear repeating everything. This is so much fun and it's fun for hours. This is a big hit in our family. Next up is a ball. A ball is another gift idea that's great to get them outdoors, get them some fresh air and some exercise. It's also great to learn some motor skills and some hand-eye coordination. You know, they can throw it, you can kick it, you can spin it, you can roll it, you can drop it, you can bounce it. There's so many different things they can do and they can learn with that. And another thing I really like about just a plain ball is that practice makes perfect. So, you know, if you give a three-year-old a ball and they can't catch it, but the more you practice and the more you try, one day they will catch it and they'll feel so much pride and they'll feel so much confidence that they've accomplished this. So I think a ball is just overall such a great idea, such a great gift for a three-year-old. Next up is some bath letters. These are bath letters and numbers. And um, you bring them in the bath and you can stick them I mean, it's not gonna work now, but I'll show you. You kind of stick them like this, and they stay on the tiles or on the side of the bath, and you can spell out things. And I mean, a three-year-old can't really spell things, but you can teach them their name. You can also teach them phonics and teach them, you know, an R sounds like R, and an O sounds like O, oh, although this might be a zero, I don't know. <laughs> you can have a lot of fun with this, and I think, trying to teach them something like this in a really fun environment like a bath like kids three-year-olds love baths they usually have so much fun in the water splashing around and so to kind of encourage them to learn the letters in the alphabet in a really positive environment is, i think is only going to be a good thing so we love bath letters and bath numbers i think this is a great gift idea next up is look inside our world book look inside is a series of educational flat books and my kids absolutely love them there's lots of different versions there's look inside our body look inside things that go so like cars and planes look inside a farm and um, all things that kind of kids are interested in and basically it goes through everything and you get to lift up these flaps and see what goes on inside what happens underneath and it gives you all these facts and figures so for example, here's some clouds in the sky and here's the sea and you can see if you open this how the seawater turns into rain. So it explains how that works. What's inside the forest so you can lift this flap and see in the desert. Here is some cactuses and then you look inside and you see that they have very long roots that go very far down in search of water. You know, all these facts that I know there are three and they it might seem a bit advanced for them but they really absorb it like my son is always coming to me and telling me all these facts that he's finding out in this book and he can spend so long studying this he'll go through the whole book and open all the flaps so the look inside books we are a huge fan of them in our family so that's it they are my top 10 gift ideas for three-year-olds i'll put the links down below for every gift that i mentioned so if you do want to go and check it out or buy it the link is there. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye!